I specialize in artificial intelligence. I uh, have to admit, whether you like me or hate me about it, that a lot of what you uh, use today was created in my labs. And so uh, when we started artificial intelligence, it was the world's best hidden secret since the early years uh, of 2004, 2005, we had incredibly accurate, very capable systems that made a massive difference to the world. You just were not aware of them. Uh, and even today, when you think about, um, you know, all of the geopolitics and the economics and all of the changes that are happening in the world, I would still dare say that the biggest disruptor in our world today is artificial intelligence. Uh, the biggest disruptor to your cities is going to be artificial intelligence. And, and the reason for that is that it's still the world's best hidden secret, believe it or not. It's still a, you know, most of us use AI to write an email or to ask a question. But what you don't realize is that in the last few months alone, uh, we've discovered the cure for cancer. We've redefined mathematics. We've understood the human genome in ways we have never before, to the point that we can now pinpoint to a single gene using artificial intelligence to ask what would be the impact on a human uh, in, in real-time simulations, right? When you really think about it, as a geek, I will tell you that I'm blown away by the possibilities. I'm blown away by the fact that, you know, now, literally months ago, we asked our artificial intelligence to improve the performance of artificial intelligence. And instead of writing more code, they basically highlighted that we're doing mathematics wrong. We're, we're I am a very serious math geek, and I've used the same method for my entire life. 56 years ago, we agreed on a way for matrix multiplication. We've used it in every code, and now AI looks at it and says, hold on, hold on, I'm going to invent new mathematics that are that basically improved the performance of Google's AI by 20, 23%, removed hundreds of millions of dollars of annual cost, removed massive amounts of energy expenditure. This is how far artificial intelligence is. Unfortunately, when we, when we look at the daily use of ChatGPT or whatever, we don't realize that. We don't realize how this technology is shaping everything. It's, it is shaping the geopolitics and the economics that we're concerned about. It's shaping everything and it will shape your cities in ways that you've never even considered. Anything from urban mobility as a result of the redefinition of work, anything from uh, you know, the inclusion of robots into our society. I don't know how many of you are thinking about that, but I guarantee you I will have a robot at home next year. They're $9,000 worth. They're very, very capable. They're 30 kilo kilograms of weight. You know, there will be a time in the very near future where instead of buying a vacuum cleaner, you're going to buy a, ro a robot. How are we integrating those? How are we integrating virtual reality into our cities? How are we integrating the redefinition of commerce, the movement of goods, the self-driving, uh, uh, you know, vehicles and mobility? The whole world that we live in today is about to change. 